Hello folks, this is 2022 May June paper 21 and the question number is 5. This question is concerned with the chapter superposition of waves. It says that a horizontal string is stretched between two fixed points A and B, A and B. A vibrator is used to oscillate the string and produce an observable stationary wave, so stationary waves produce here. At one instant, the moving string is straight as shown in figure 5.1, so this happens. Sometimes it will be like this and sometimes it will be like this and sometimes straight and so on. The dots in the diagram represent the positions of the nodes on the string. So all of these are nodes. So I can name it as N, N, N like this. And uh, point P on the string is moving downwards. Point P here. The wave on the string has a velocity of this much. So it is V and a period of this much. So it is T. Explain how the stationary wave is formed on the string. So what I mean here is, if we use a vibrator here, waves are formed, they pass to pass to the right and they get reflected from here they undergo deflection because there is change of density here change of density so they got reflected so the instant waves and these waves superpose superpose giving a resultant wave which has got zero velocity so its speed and its speed is same the combination of two speeds two velocity give us a wave with zero velocity so that is the stationary wave so waves uh, waves pass to waves pass to right Pass to right, get reflected, reflected, but with the same speed, with the same speed, uh, the incident, the incident, incident and reflected waves, waves superpose, superpose to give to give a resultant wave wave of zero velocity which is the stationary wave so number b on figure 5.1 sketch a line to show a possible position of the string a quarter of a cycle later than the position shown in the diagram so we have to show its position about a quarter of a cycle later so what uh, it is being said here is right now p is moving downwards so that means that means in one cycle it will be coming like this like this and like this in one cycle so in half cycle it will be like it will be coming like this and like this but in quarter cycle p will be here so that's why our new wave will be after that time after quarter of cycle will be somewhat like this then this then this then this So this is how the wave would look like. Now, determine uh, the horizontal distance from A to B. So we have to find distance from here to here. So what I mean is, from these two data, I have to find, from time period, I need to find the frequency here. F equal to 1 by T, that's equal to 1 by 0 0.040, that's equal to exactly 25 hertz, 25 hertz. Then I have lambda is equal to velocity by frequency, that gi gives me, V is a 35 and the frequency is a 25 so this will be equal to equal to uh, 1.4 meters so lambda equal to 1.4 meters now what I can see is from A to B we have got from here to here it is 1 lambda from here to another one 2 lambda so here it is lambda by 2 lambda by 2 so 1 lambda 2 lambda, lambda so it is uh, 2 lambda plus this is uh, this is equal to uh, uh, is 2.5 lambda so 2 lambda uh, half lambda two lambda half lambda so it is uh, 2.5 lambda so I will have the distance is equal to 2.5 lambda equal to 2.5 into 1.4 that's equal to 2.5 into 1.4 it becomes 3.5 meters so the distance is 3.5 meters now a particle a particle on the string has zero displacement at time t equal to 0 right now from time t equal to 0 to time t equal to 0 0.060 seconds the particle moves through a total distance of 72 millimeter 
calculate the amplitude so we have to find in this time in this time it moves through a distance of this much a particle moves through this this much so we have to find the amplitude now let us see uh, let us see how many times this quantity is uh, related to the time period so this t is equal to t equal to 0 0.060 seconds the time period is equal to it was given here equal to 0 0.040 seconds so this t by t is equal to 0 0.060 by 0 0.040 that's equal to 1.5 so that means in 1.5 time period in 1.5 time period it moves through this distance in 1.5 time period it moves through this distance so now what is the meaning of 1.5 time period so in 1.5 time period it will move like this let me show it here so the particle is here the, the particle is here here the particle is here so in one time period it moves like this 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 and this in one time period it moves like this in another 0.5 time period it will move like this like this so in one time period from here to here in another half it moves like this so that means it moves through this distance this distance one two three four five six it moves through this amplitude distance six times so that means that means that, that means we have this six times into amplitude amplitude is equal to 72 millimeter 72 millimeter so that means the amplitude should be equal to should be equal to 72 by 6 millimeter and that becomes that becomes that becomes 12 millimeter so that becomes 12 millimeter so that is equal to simply 12 millimeter 12 millimeter so let me repeat that once again in this 1.5 of time period it moves like this in one time period it moves to this much this much in one time period this half time period so whole 1.5 time it moves like this like this, like this so it moves through this half distance or this distance uh six times one two three four five six times so six in mg equal to 72 and like this so this is the answer to this question